Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching the newest video of the ePlan Essentials YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the new Retail Reline X Boost Bar system. If you are not familiar with this product yet, I will recommend you to take a look at the Retail homepage. On the Retail.com, you can find this. Uh, there is a really nice homepage created for it, which describes the products functionalities and benefits very very well you could just browse through this it's very interactive and a very good explanation also there is a short one minute video of the products functionalities as well you will find other videos on youtube about this product in today's video i would like to show you how you could use the retail reline x boost bar system in, in inside of eplan platform so before we start there are two ways essentially how you could use it one is you will place the complete board and place then on those on this complete boards the the adapters or you can build it modular so whichever option you like you could utilize here at the moment of recording so it's april 2025 rital has prepared eight complete boards like you see it here for you so you can already just download it and, and utilize them via drag and drop those eight versions are the 600 800 1000 and 1200 wide boards and um, they are for both of those uh, four lengths the 550 amps and 800 amps versions the 550 amps come with a 30 times 5 bus bar uh, and the 800 amp version comes with a 30 times 10 uh, millimeter bus bar just to show you how easy this is i will delete this uh, system here and i will insert the 800 amps variant here so it's the part number 9360088, if I'm not mistaken. So, and now let's drag and drop it here. I will just activate here, snap to mounting surface, and here we have it. So, now let's take a closer look add it and you will see here if i hide the covers and take a look from the left side that in this version there are 30 times 5 millimeter copper bars so this is the 550 amps version and here are 30 times 10 millimeter copper bars so this is the 800 amps version so this is already the first benefit of you using this complete board solution that you have one part number which orders you the whole board right so that means um, by just selecting on ordering this part number you're getting the end uh, end covers you're getting the basic basic components you're getting the covers and you're getting the copper um, bars inside so this is the first the first benefit of using this another benefit will be that all components have standardized drilling patterns right so i already have here the drilling view active you can find it under view drilling view and if you take now a closer look here right you see that the drilling patterns are perfectly fitting uh, regardless if it's the complete board or if it's modularly placed here okay so this is an additional um, benefit of using the retail reline x components that you don't have to worry about the drilling pattern as they fit perfect okay and now we will be taking a look on how to place components and adapters on the uh, system right so for this i will recommend you to deactivate the mounting surface and activate the mounting grid and for the ease of placement hide the copper bars right the reason why we are doing this is to limit the amount of possible distractions for the software when we place uh, our components and adapters right so 
the component which I'm looking to place here is 9360500. Okay, so this is the circuit breaker device adapter. So, and I'm gonna show you now first, right? What happens if I'm just inserting the component, right, without hiding the copper bars, and then how you will how you should do it when you hide when you hide the copper bars, right? So here, just by drag and drop, we can insert it, right? And as you see, I have here with right mouse clip snap to mounting grid on, and this brings this blue grid. So this is essentially where we would like to place our components, right? And but now still. If I would place it here, right, the software may be distracted and don't know, hey, should we place it on the uh, copper string, which is which is right behind or, or here, right? And just to prevent any misplacements, right, we will hide here the copper copper strings, right? And what I would also recommend, just to be double sure, when you are inserting these components, right, you can also snap to mounting surface deactivate, right, and then only the mounting grid will be active. I don't know if you can see it in the video, right? Uh, but now the software is only selecting the mounting grids, right? What's very interesting here is the additional benefit. So as you see, we have here the uh, circuit breaker device adapter, right? And in the past, in the Rital Reline 60 system, right, depending on if you have top connected or bottom connected one, you had two different part numbers, right? With this new Rital Reline X system, you only have one part number and it, the part number comes with two variants, right? So it's very easy now for us if we press the tab button to switch in between those. So I'm gonna place both here. First, this one, right? And right now, next to it, the other one right and here you see again depending on how your how your your setup is and how you how you need to connect the uh, the wires right you will see it right so and as you see here it's visible so it's the same part number just with different different variants right and the same thing will be if we will place a, an h view switch disconnector if we just get closer here so the part number is 9362-110. So as you see, we have one connector here, right? And now I also have, could, with the tab button, switch the variants. Unlike here, the first component where you see the graphical difference, I don't see it graphically, but I'm gonna place first the first variant, right? And here, right next to it, I will press the tab button. So, and now we placed both variants. The difference here is if I just activate the connection point designation and connection point direction, you see where the wires will be connecting, right? So, once in, uh, from the bottom and once from the top, right? So again, same part, right? Unlike in the past where you may have used two different part numbers, right? So all in all, right, what you see until now is, right, it's simplifying the amount of different parts, right? So reducing the amount of parts, that means it's easier for you to design, it's easier for you to order, and of course, it's easier for you to install it now with this system, okay? so. This would be, for instance, the way of how you could utilize the complete board from, from uh, Retail uh, Reline X. And now let's take a look how it will be done if we would place it in a modular fashion, right? So I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit, right? If you would like to use uh, the Retail Reline X in a modular fashion, right, then you would have to start with the end module set, right? So, and the end module set has the part number 9360101, right? And here you will find the end module set. So, it comes with the left bracket and the, and the right bracket, which you can place next to each other, right? I have my mounting surface catch deactivated, which I will activate now, so we can place this component wherever wherever we choose to and now i'm just i'm gonna just gonna place the 
right end cover on the on, on the right side for now as just as a placeholder and now it's super simple because all what we need to do is uh, we're just selecting the end cover and now we can go to insert and accessories and we will see three different components which we can select and those three different components are those board components right in three different lengths right so let's uh, try to go through them the 110 is a 100 millimeter board components the 120 is a 200 millimeter and the 150 is a 54 millimeter um, uh, base component, right? If we select just one, right? And now you see it's automatically placed. So it's kind of like Lego. You are just selecting those components and uh, placing them. So that was the first one. Let's select the second one, right? So you see 100 millimeter, 200 millimeters, and the 54 millimeters is the same size like this um, let's take a look how this will look like so the 150 added like this so as you see just what i mentioned it's like lego you can select the components as you wish to assemble them right and once you are done with your with this placement right you are just selecting this end component right and you can move it closer and here you see it's fitting in right perfectly and it's assembled so what we do miss here are the copper strings right so and for you it then depends if it's a 550 amps then you need five millimeter if it's an 800 amp solution you need a 10 millimeter copper string right but let me just find try to find the copper string for five millimeters and that's 3584 exactly if i take a look now a little bit from the right okay and insert this copper string you will see maybe i can jump a little bit closer in so you see it, you see it better uh, if you get closer you see two green points per face right one is the the mounting point for the five millimeter copper boost bar and one is the one for the 10 millimeter right if i'm not mistaken the top one is for the five millimeter right and all what you need to do is place it and select it until this point okay and that you will repeat the action three times and then you will have a perfect copper placement and that will be how easy it is to use Rital Reline X in e Pro Panel as I mentioned you can place it as a complete board or modular all the disconnects and components are all also available in the data portal and the data is constantly improved thanks for watching